So it's time for the finals once again, and it's a rematch of last year's between the Cavs and the Warriors. Now the question is, who is going to win this time around? Let's have a closer look. There are quite a few factors that we need to have a look at, but to begin with, let's have a recap of the last year's finals. Last year, after a defeat in Game 1, the Cavs won two games back to back and were 2-1 up in the finals, and then the Warriors won all three remaining games to clinch the series 4-2. This year, it might not be so easy. When looking at the road to the finals, the Cavs had a much shorter path than the Warriors. They lost only two games, and both of those against the Raptors, who were their biggest challengers. In comparison, the Warriors lost five games on their way to the finals, losing a game each against Houston and Portland, and losing three games against OKC. OKC was their biggest challenge, they were actually 3-1 down, so they faced a few elimination games, but they managed to dig down deep and win 4-3. This allows us to look at momentum being carried forward into the finals, where the Warriors have a clear advantage over the Cavs. The Cavs have played very efficiently, losing only two games, but on the other side, the Warriors showed great resolve to come back from 3-1 down, and they will carry on that fight straight into the final. Another factor to consider is injuries. A lot of people said last year that the final would have been very different if the Cavs weren't so injured. This year around, the Cavs have a clean bill of health for their roster, and can no longer use the same excuse they had last year when Kevin Love and old Uncle Drew were injured. For the Warriors, the only concern is Steph Curry and his knee injury. Is it 100%? A lot of people say that it's still not healed yet, but there's no way to know for sure. The main difference maker in this matchup is going to be clutch time. Who's going to keep their nerves cool when the title is on the line? The Cavaliers have not really been tested so far, but we all know how big or small of a presence LeBron has when it's clutch time. Golden State have been absolutely amazing in this recently, and they have shown in the last couple of games that they can be losing for the majority of the game and still manage to pull it off right before the end when it matters the most. Now, in terms of the key player matchup, it will be very easy to say it's going to be LeBron versus Steph Curry, but let's keep it interesting and let's say it's going to be Clay Thompson versus Kevin Love, and I'll tell you why. Clay Thompson was absolutely huge for the Warriors when Steph Curry was out. He carried them to victory and is still somehow underrated and not appreciated enough by other teams or even the league. And let's not forget, this is the same guy that managed to score 37 points in one quarter. There is no way that you can disrespect a guy like that. Kevin Love has proven himself to be somewhat of a missing ingredient that the Cavs needed. When he plays well, the Cavs win. When he plays really badly like he did in those two games, those are the same two games that the Cavs lost. So that should tell you how important he is to the overall team. Last but not least, who has the bigger motivation to win the title? When you look at the Cavs and LeBron, they're trying to break the curse of not bringing the title to the Cleveland. On the other hand, we look at the Warriors, they broke the record for the regular season, but are they going to back it up with the title? Because it don't mean a thing without a ring. So who is going to win this time around? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. This was NBA Check Episode 5. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. And as always, have a good one.